Here is the power deck side of the AJV Sewer Combo Backhaul Truck. Starting out here, you have a triplex Meyer pump. Of course, you're going to see the stickers again on, on the truck everywhere. This is showing every eight hours you will want to air purge and open up these drain valves you see here on the front of the pump. That will clean out any sediments that have collected in those ports. Going to the right of the pump, you have a steel filter housing here that also is saying that every eight hours you will need to take off these two wing nuts, pull the cage out, and just clean out every eight hours. Going down from there, if you see the lines going into, we have a cold weather circulation pump. This pump is a very common pump. Uh, you can get parts for it about anywhere. Uh, you can see the two lines going into this pump now allow you to block off this section here with this ball valve. You will physically shut off the ball valve to the strainer, which will allow water flow coming from your tank into the T-valve, down the line, into your cold weather recirculation pump that then kicks the water pressure back up into and through the strainer that we talked about a minute ago, in through your pump, allowing full water, weather, cold weather circulation uh, for 32 degrees and below. Coming just to the left side and below your Meyer Triplex pump, you do have your, uh, hand, your hand wash down gun for the vac all. You will plug your nozzle into this and this will allow you to wash off any mud or any debris that is on the truck or in your debris body or whatever you need to necessarily use it for. Coming up just to the passenger side tank, you will see that you have your, wo your low water sensor there and it's got its own little purge valve used off of that handle as well. Very low maintenance and we barely use that valve that much. Coming underneath your tank, you have your street side, curbside fill up that fills both tanks simultaneously. This does have a Y strainer that will collect any sediment coming out of your hydrant and will keep it from going into the tanks. If need be, you need to purge this Y strainer. There is a handle on the back side that opens up a valve that allows that water coming from the hydrant to purge that strainer and drain out onto the ground for a few seconds. Go a little bit lower next to the tank between a toolbox if it is mounted and to the side of your wash down gun reel. You do also have another purge slash drain valve on it that will allow you to purge any sediments or any unused unwanted water from the hose reel or that line.